Hey guys, welcome to a new video and I thought I'd do a proper intro to this video which is what I eat in a week. And this is actually just my dinners for the week because I work full time so my breakfast and my lunches are normally either exactly the same or very very boring. So I thought I'd mix it up a little bit and just do my dinners for the week and it's kind of like a cook with me as well so a bit of like this is how I do my dinners as well and where the recipes are from etc. So I hope you are going to enjoy it. We have actually more recently tried to cut down a little bit on meat so you'll see that kind of I like to have a few substitutes for meat and stuff. That's just personal kind of decision to maybe cut it out a little bit just due to kind of like long term health reasons, nothing else. So yeah, I'm gonna leave you with this now and I haven't made an outro, so if you enjoy it, please like and subscribe if you're new and yeah, enjoy. So tonight I'm cooking from this Keep It Vegan book, which I bought last year and I haven't used that, I haven't used it that much basically, but um, I found this recipe the other day and it's very similar to a Joe Wicks and Tikka Masala recipe that I really love. So. I really like it and it's the chana masala. It's kind of like a che chicken tikka masala but with chickpeas instead. So that is what I'm cooking now. And I've just got some onions and garlic chopped up. And then the other bits that I need is chilli flakes or you can use fresh chilli. Some ginger, you should really use like a proper ginger root but I just use the, you know, that stuff. Chopped tomatoes, chickpeas, some garam masala powder. Um, we've also got pepper, salt, and then we like it with poppadoms and rice. So yeah, I'm just gonna start cooking that up. I forgot as well, you need coconut milk. So I'm using this cocoa coconut milk, and yeah, putting that in now. So tonight I'm cooking one of Joe Wick's recipes, which is a pork sweet and sour recipe, even though I'm using chicken today. Um, and for this you need toasted sesame oil, which I hadn't actually used before this recipe, which by the way, this recipe is um, one of our favorites. Some olive oil, some red wine, some soy sauce, some monge too, some peppers, which I've kind of sliced more thin rather than chunky. A bit of onion, all basically do is fry it all up in here and we eat it with rice, so I'll show you how it's looking as we go. So tonight's dinner is one of our like naughty dinners for the week. Um, I like to kind of do something that's a bit lazy every week and we have got corn southern fried bites. So these are basically like chicken nuggets. These are actually pretty good and they do taste of chicken or they feel like the texture of chicken um, and they were on offer so yeah. And then we like sweet potato fries and these McCain ones are also on offer and are also the best ones so um, yeah we've got those tonight and then I'll do it with some peas and then that'll be it. So yeah, a bit of a slightly less healthy one but not incredibly bad for me so that is what is going on tonight. Tonight I am doing a stir fry, so um, basically just out of the packet, but kind of healthy, I think. And we haven't had stir fry, I don't think, for potentially over a year, um, but it was just something I really fancied. So um, I've got this Chinese stir fry. I really like the Chinese style ones because I like the bamboo shoots and the bean sprouts. And then I've got black bean stir fry sauce because I do like a black bean sauce. And I've got rice noodles just because I feel like they're a little bit less sort of like filling than the other ones and the other ones can maybe a bit much. Um, and then I've got some cheapy, um, what are they called, prawn crackers just to eat with it. So I'm going to cook this up. So tonight I'm doing a pea risotto. So really, really simple recipe and it's mainly when I'm a little bit lazy. So I'm just getting some onion, frying in some butter and oil. And then I've just got some risotto rice, it's the arborio rice. Um, and then I've just got a stock of um, this bouillon powder, which is basically vegetable stock. Really, really good. Um, and then, yeah, basically just mix it all together. So 
So tonight it is Friday, so I am doing chili tacos tonight because I always like to have something a bit sort of tasty slash carby for dinner on a Friday, I guess. So um, I'm actually doing a corn chili, but I tend to just use the BBC Good Food chili corn carne recipe, and I've got my tacos kit here. So I've got some peppers chopped up, some garlic. This is a bit of onion because I'm going to make some guacamole with an avocado. And then I've got some onion for the actual chilli. And then for the chilli, I need chopped tomatoes, kidney beans, cayenne pepper, ground cumin, chilli powder, paprika, salt and pepper, and some tomato puree. And then I also will be making up a beef stock too to add to it. So I am just going to start cooking this up now. 